Kathy Gingell, founder of The Conservative Woman, an excellent website you should check out daily, knows what's going on because she's a victim of it. She's just been permanently banned by the totalitarian commissars at Twitter uh, for basically retweeting uh, a, a very painful and honest uh, tweet by one of the vaccine victims. Yes, hi, Mark. No, it's absolutely astonishing. Mm. I was banned for what it might be called a sympathy, a compassionate tweet. Mm. I was particularly horrified by seeing this woman who, who's been, who was not told that it would trigger her autoimmune mm. disease that she had already, and it brought out terrible symptoms of mm. skin disorders, painful, painful, mm. appalling, and, and led her into other treatment that also didn't work. So it was a sort of veritable sort of toxic storm for her. And I said, poor, poor woman, um, how can the people responsible for this sleep at night? And I have been suspended from Twitter about three or four times in the last two years for my fairly forthright reports on vaccine injuries um, and etc. Uh, but this was a, this is a total, I'm, I'm kicked off, I'm an outcast, I'm now on Getter. Mm. I, I mean, I, half of me doesn't mind because they're so despicable. Mm. Do I really want to be using this dreadful thing? Mm. Um, but on the other hand, it is very bad because what they're doing is, is, is they're not just denying the vaccine victim. In fact, that woman's still on Twitter, mm. I found. They're de de denying somebody who's in some sort of authority. I'm not in authority, but has a known view that people in Westminster do read mm. the website. They're denying me communicating it or making a judgment about it. Um, and of course, this isn't just Twitter. It's been, it's happening across the board from the start of the vaccine, well, from the start of lockdown. Mm.